What is up everybody? Thank you for coming back for today's video. I have a super awesome, super, super, super awesome thing I've been wanting to do with a pop. Yes, I'll be destroying another pop, but I am doing it for a good reason because I kind of want to create a custom pop. But why not do an experiment that helps me get there? So today's video, I am going to be taking paint thinner and putting a pop in there for a certain amount of time. Not sure yet, depending on when I decide to do it or how long. I'm just... I normally judge by looking into the jar. Last one that I did, it was just nothing happened within the 10 to 24 hour mark. So not sure how long I'm going to be with this. I'll definitely say it in the video when I actually pull it out and start messing with the pop. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Let's get started. All right. So first things first, please do not try this at home without super or adult supervision, or if you're adult, just wear PPE. Safety first, always wear, wear protective gear, goggles, have goggles, gloves, always wear gloves. And yet, I still don't have a mask at this time, so please don't hate on me too much. I'm gonna be as careful as possible while I can. So let's get this started. So, in my last video, I used this jar and I'm deciding against it this time so that I don't waste paint thinner. Uh, this is a very, it's a very solid chemical in there. Um, I don't want to use this because it's too wide and I found another jar exactly like it that's smaller. So we're going from this to this. It's definitely going to be a lot easier. The pop goes in there and fits and I won't have to use as much paint thinner to fill up the width of this jar. So that's what we're going to be doing is using this jar, but first, let's put on the safety gear and let's go. Um, but one of the things that I always say, uh, I like to push out there is please do not try this. Once again, I'm gonna keep saying it because I don't want people to think, oh yeah, let's do this. Even if you're underage, don't do it. Don't, without adult supervision. I need adult supervision. Sopa, sopa, supervision. So let's get started into this. So here is the jar. So for the pop today, I am excited to show you exactly what pop I'm gonna be putting in here to customize. I have for you is the Chase variant glow in the dark, hang on air scooter. That is the pop that I'm gonna be putting in there with paint thinner to strip it. You might call me crazy. I'm just kidding. I'm really not gonna put this pop in there. I've just decided just to do that for fun, why not? Uh, I'm going to be doing the Dr. Facilier. Facilier. I'm not really sure on how to say it, but there it is. We're going to be using this pop because I want to do a super cool paint job, which I'm not very good at painting, so wish me luck. But, yep, this is the pop we're going to be using today. I'm going to try to open this without damaging it. Um, I'll be right back. Alrighty then, I got the flap open, used a card. I learned that one from Dr. Applesauce. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. He is an awesome dude. Uh, but there we go, I used a card to pop up the tab here without damaging the actual flap here. Super awesome, uh, super awesome method. He uses a card trick. You use like a debit or a card or a back of a knife and you just put it in there and pop it up. Go check out his video if you haven't. But let's get into the video. Um, the reason why I chose this pop, it is an exclusive. I do have a couple of them. But the reason, oh wow, it came straight out. And there's no base, that makes me kind of nervous. And there's no base thing for it anyway. So let's pull this out of the view and let's pull this out of view and move the box. Um, so originally the reason why I chose this pop in, uh, for the first place, there's a little dent in the plastic here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it and there's a lot of detail on the pop itself. As you can see, it's just a all around detailed pop as well as the one pop that I did Captain Marvel last time, the spring, the little bobble head uh, feature, the spring started rusting like two to three days after. So I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to go with the normal bobble head. Um, even though I think it's going to float, I don't really know, but we'll find out. So let's get started. Got my PPE, got my gloves, pop the top, and I might as well put him in there first. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that he fits, because it's tall hat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him to stay standing. Woo, yay. Maybe if I push him in the back, there we go. 
Hopefully he doesn't float too much if I need to put something in the top to hold him down. Okay, so this is what chemicals should be like. There is a seal on top of this bottle where you pull it open before you, right after you open the cap. The Drano that I used in my last video did not have those seals, so if I would have pop, popped the cap and got all over me, that would have been fun and horrible at the same time. But I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pop this thing off with these gloves on. So give me one second. I finally got the cap off for the, the little seal to put it inside here. I also brought my shirt so that I could clean up if I spill anything. Let's get into it and pour it in there. So here we go. Oh. And make it a mess. And it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Ooh, this stuff is strong. I'm going to clean this up really fast. I don't think I got any on the actual chart itself. Yeah, I did. Let me just go ahead and clean that off. And just kind of wipe it up. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to close this off for just right now. Doesn't look like it's going to stay. So, uh, I'm pretty much going to have to like fill it to the top. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do is fill it all the way to the top, which I didn't want to do, but I'm going to have to because there isn't a spring. It's basically closed and it's going to do it regardless. So I want to fill it all the way to the top. If I can get it with, I'm making a giant mess with this stuff. All right, so there we go. I'm going to put the top on it. Oh, no. So I'm going to have to come back and fix this problem because I have made a huge mess and I need to kind of pour some of this out. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I went to push it down and it just overflowed. So I'm definitely going to have to clean up a huge mess after I'm done recording this. This stuff is pretty strong. I filled it to pretty much the top, so I'm just going to put the lid on it and let the paint thinner do its job and as you can see it is just like coming over the top so I'm going to try to seal this as good as possible and clean up the mess I made a huge mess with this paint thinner hopefully it didn't bleed through this plastic eat the plastic or whatever it is super strong sure it's doing a really well, uh, good job of soaking up the paint thinner all right, so I got it cleaned off the bottom. Now I just need to clean up the actual jar. Okay. All right, so there we have it. There is Dr. Facilier in the jar with paint thinner. So we're gonna put it in there and go, I'm gonna check it Within the first day, within maybe a couple hours, maybe tomorrow morning, I'm going to check it. Depending on what it looks like from that point, shoot, in five hours it may be ready. So I'll definitely let you all know what the time it is. I don't have my clock. Let's see. It is 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. right now as we put the pop in there. So I'll let you know when the time is, when we pull it out, and how long it's set in there. So this is basically the start of this video. I will be back when it's time to pull the pop out. See you guys then. All right, so we're back. Let me put on my safety, my PPE, and let's get started. So we put this in there 9-15. Uh, that's the date, 9, September 15th. Um, it was Monday, and it is now Wednesday night, about to be Thursday. I gave it that I gave it about I think it was 8 p.m. Monday or no Sunday night I think it may have been Sunday night not 100% sure but it's been in there for at least four four days this is what the pop looks like 
inside the jar of paint thinner. It almost looked like it did nothing, but we'll find out once we pull it out and see what happens. Let me put my goggles on. I got, um, so brought back my jug of water, warm water, and then here's the jar. Got me a new shirt so I can soak up some stuff. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Oh, yay, already got stuff everywhere. Pop that open. If I can get a hold of it. Drip it off just a little bit. And I'm dripping it everywhere anyway, so here we go. I actually don't think anything happened. Not a, not a thing, and it, it, it amazes me that Kind of wash it off as much as possible. Might as well go ahead and close this jar. And put it off to the side. And try to make sure I clean this up as well. It's just kind of leaking everywhere around the jar. This stuff is messy. I'm definitely going to plan this out better next time if I the next chemical or whatever I try this with. Um, I'm just absolutely blown away that this is paint thinner. This set in there for a few days. And I'm not really seeing much happening. I'm trying to see if I can rub off anything. I don't see any color rubbing off at all. Like... Let's see if I can get a little bit of cotton or polyester or whatever the shirt is. Like barely, like barely anything happened to it. Like this is what it looks like um, after it came out and sat in there for four days or more. Uh, that's what the back looks like. I mean, I could probably work and see if I can rub some stuff off here, but... Doesn't really look. Hmm. Not really happening. So pretty much, I'm blown away that it sat in there for that long and didn't affect it at all. Like any of the paint or whatever they use on the Funko Pops. I'm gonna have to do research on this to see exactly what type of stuff they use to keep it, or if it's just a plastic molding and. I mean, but that's kind of hard to believe that it wasn't painted. Or if the type of uh, stuff they use that sets on top to keep it from peeling off or anything like that. I'm amazed, but this is what the pop looks like after it's set in paint thinner for four days. Blows my mind that none of the paint came off. A little bit came off after I rubbed it a little bit on the little cane here. Dr. Facilier, or Facilier. But not really much came off. Other than that, I've rubbed on his eye. Nothing came off on his eye. I mean, I've even dipped it in the hot, warm water to see if it would possibly do something a little different. But yeah, I'm not seeing a single thing rub off on this thing. It's amazing. Like, no paint at all. Maybe just a little lighter, but boom. Four whole days in paint thinner. Now... It is a Walmart brand. I'm not exactly sure how strong it is compared to other stuff like paint. Uh, there's a couple other brands. Definitely going to be trying to do something else with this pop. Now that I realize that paint thinner will not peel paint off of pops. So there you have it. Unless you soak it in there, boil it, I don't know, maybe break the surface of the paint and then put it in there. I'm not exactly sure if that will help it at all. I'm not a painter, so don't hold me to it. This was a little experiment, and this is exactly what happened with this pop. Not very much happened at all. I figured if I would have put it in there, my calculations or my guess would have been it would have been in there and paint would have just started coming off slowly over time, especially with four days. I thought a lot more would be more damage done to this pop. Not a single thing, really, honestly. I mean, like the little cane has a little bit of discoloration, but even if I rub his eye, yeah, nothing, not a thing. That's pretty much to the, the end of the, uh, or 
the conclusion of this is not a thing came off of this pop. There's a lot of colors happening here. Um, yeah, I thought that was something else. But, yeah, there you have it. Four Days in Paint Thinner, Funko Pop, Dr. Facilier, didn't even break. This is strong. This is crazy. I cannot believe it actually held in there. That's today's video. Thank you for coming and watching. I stuttered there a little bit. If you did like, please like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Later. Later.